Hey guys, and welcome back to The Happy Wife. For this video, I thought that it would be pretty fun to take a magazine and buy the first five um, advertisement products that I could buy <laughs> and test them out and see if they're any good or not. So, the only like magazine subscription that I have is uh, the Health Magazine. And I only have it because it came with my shoe order from Just Fab, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. <laughs> but I actually really do enjoy this magazine. I don't think I would buy it if it wasn't like a free year subscription, for sure. But I also figured um, to keep this kind of affordable, I'm going to only buy the first products that I see and haven't tried already and keep it under $10. You open the page and the first thing you see is a Kashi ad. And it says, say hello to my chocolate chunky American farmer supporting almond butter friend. Kashi chewy nut butter bars are my happy. Someone said that, I don't know. Uh, right off the bat, it doesn't really say like what the product is or what it's supposed to be for. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of these. And the next one that I found, the next one is for eye drops, but I have to have a certain kind of eye drops because I have allergies, so we're going to skip that one. All right, the next one I found is this L'Oreal Paris. It's a, uh, like a bronze lotion, like a self-tanning lotion. Um, I don't do very well with self-tanning lotions because as you can see, I'm super white and so usually tanning lotions just turn me orange and so I'm not like a big fan of them. They're not my cup of tea. Um, but it is one of the next ones we found so we're gonna go ahead and try it. Let's find the next one. So there's this one that I found. Um, I think it's this one. It's like a body wash kind of thing. And, um, again, it doesn't really give like a whole lot of detail on what it's supposed to do for you, but I'll go ahead and try it. So I think that's number three. So I think we just need two more things. There's an ad for Bob's. Those are expensive, not buying them. Uh, sleeping medicine is usually expensive. What's in here? Okay, so in this little corner here, it, there's like an ad for like four different things. There's like a Be Your Charcoal Mask, there's another body wash, some shampoo, and like a lash something to make your lashes grow, I'm pretty sure. We already have a body wash, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this one, but I'm going to try this Be Your, and my next one will be the shampoo. And it says that it, the Bior Charcoal Max is $7 and the other one is $6 at Target. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go find these five items. And then I'm going to put them to a test for a week and see how they do. And then check back in with you guys after a week and give you my final thoughts and reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the store. <laughs> Two hours later. All right, guys, I am back. I unloaded all the grocery bags and I have all the things. Hopefully everyone can see everything that I have. <laughs> all the things that we're going to try out this week. This is just a little snack one, so I'm gonna go ahead and have that. Oh, these were like $3.69, I believe. And there's only five bars in here. Like, I don't really think that's the greatest deal. And even the back of this, just reading through the box on the car at home, it still doesn't tell me exactly what this is supposed to do for you. Like, if it's good for you, what it's supposed to do. Uh, but in big, bold letters, it says, these are not organic bars, pretty much. Um, but it does say that they like help support farmers. So I don't know if it's more of like a healthy choice. I don't know. I know that like their ads, it's like seven whole grains on a mission or something, but 
Like on a mission for what? Like tell me what your deal is. What are you what are you trying to do for me? But I mean, I guess let's open it up and try it and see what it is. I don't think I can necessarily try this one for a week because it's food. <laughs> but I can taste one. And the bar isn't even that big for it being so expensive. I mean, to me, I think it's expensive for just five bars. Oh, it melted in the car. It is so hot, you guys, that it just, I don't know if you can see it, but it is all melted. It's so hot that it didn't even last the car ride home. And we live maybe two blocks away. It's actually like flimsy. I was expecting it to be kind of crunchy. Mm, it doesn't taste like anything. I mean, it's not terrible. It's non-GMO, made with almond butter, gluten-free. So I mean, for a gluten-free treat, I can see it being like passable, but I honestly, I really don't love this. It's not, that's gonna be a pass for me. It just, tastes like cardboard that somebody put peanut butter and chocolate on it's just I don't, I don't know it's I think it's more of the texture that's throwing me off because granola bar wise like yeah I'm dropping things over here granola bar wise it's decent it's okay it's just I don't know there's something with the texture that I'm just I'm not down with and that could also be because it melted in the car at home <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's a pass for me. But that's just my opinion. If you guys love these, go for them. They're all yours. So I'm really dumb and I didn't read the ingredients before I ate that. And it has coconut ingredients in it, which I'm allergic to coconut. Not to the point where it would like kill me or like I need to go to the hospital right away but I am allergic, so I'm kind of scared to see what's going to happen. Um, the way we found out I was allergic to coconut was actually because I was using a coconut oil, like, base shampoo on my hair, and my whole entire head broke out in just a hive and it was itchy and it was sore and I had really deep sores and it took probably a good two months before it went away <laughs> and I had to use medicated um, shampoo for a long long time so I'm not I've never like digested any coconut ever since we found out I was allergic <sighs> so hopefully nothing too bad happens because I have to go out in public tomorrow we have a tennis tournament to go to so, and if anything happens, there's a hospital right next to us. So I think these are just gonna go in the trash for me. That was really dumb. I should have checked the ingredients. That was my fault. Pray for me. <laughs> I'm like terrified now. Okay, uh, let's do the next thing, which is I bought them wrong. <laughs> they only had like medium, and I thought that that was going to make me go really orange and wear them light. I was hoping that they could find a light one, and I did find a light one, and it's not L'Oreal now that I'm looking at it. It's freaking Banana Boat, so I didn't even get the right thing that I was looking for. I just saw light, and it was by L'Oreal, and I bought it. So again, that's my bad. We're 0 for 2 on products here, but I feel like since we are supposed to try a self-tanning lotion, that I'll have to give this one a try for a week and see what I think, even though it's not the one that I was supposed to get. So we'll go ahead and give this one a try. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't turn me orange. Um, next one, we have the Bior. I did get the right one of this one. And then I also found the Pantene uh, shampoo and then I also got the conditioner just so that it could be a pair but I'm going to count it as like one try 
I can feel my throat closing off. I can kind of hear it too. I, it might be all in my head. I don't know. <laughs> and then the last thing we're going to be trying out is this Method Body Body Wash. I haven't smelt it yet. Why haven't I smelt it? It smells really good. It has peony, rose water, and pink sea salt. And this, let's see what it's supposed to do for you. It says, some days meditation isn't enough. Infused with peony, rose water, and pink sea salt, this purifying body wash soothes your soul while leaving your skin soft, smooth, and smelling like a no-stress zone. So this is cruelty-free. It's naturally diverted. So it has like natural ingredients in it. Um, they're certified to benefit our people and our planet. And the bottle is actually made out of 65% recycled plastic. So I think that's pretty cool. This is mainly supposed to like cleanse your body, keep it nice and soft, which if I could have a body wash that washes my body while it lathers it, that would be a miracle because I feel like all the time it dries my skin out and so I have to like put lotion on after the shower, which maybe that's just a normal thing. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it doesn't exist what I'm thinking, but if this can do it, that'd be pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of these to the test. No on the granola bars for me. Uh, pray that I'm okay. Pray that nothing grows wrong. I'm going to drink just chug water and hope that the swelling in my throat goes down. Um, if anything, I might break out into a hive, which that might not agree with this so well. Or this. <laughs> so pray for me. Maybe we should check the ingredients before we use anything else as well. Okay, so the rest of the products we're good on with coconut. I shouldn't be breaking out with anything with these unless I'm allergic to anything else. But anyway, I'm going to put all of these to the test and I will check back with you in a week to give you some final thoughts. Okay guys, so I'm about to put this on for the first time. Directions, apply to skin, clean dry skin, use spiraling around the knees and elbows and hairline. Is this supposed to go on my face? Ooh, I don't know about that. Uh, wash hands with soap and water immediately after use. Allow to dry completely before dressing. Color will develop in one to two hours and will last several days. Reapply to deepen or maintain color for best results. Wait at least three hours between each application. I'm just going to put one on because I don't want to look orange. I have to be out in public tomorrow. I think I'll put it on my legs and call it a day. <laughs> Alright guys, it has been a full week with the products that I'm trying out of the health magazine. I did take notes so that I can be sure to give you guys an honest and full thought out review. Uh, a couple things before we get started with this review. Uh, yes, if you notice my hallway door is open. It is so freaking hot in here. And if you hear like a humming noise, it's my AC and it's currently like seven o'clock so it's starting to cool down and if you've watched any of my previous videos you'll know that my AC has been broken so it's very very hot and so I'm trying to get as much cool-ish air in my house as I possibly can so it's open so that I can like survive in my office right now also if I'm a little bit raspy and stuffy sounding I currently have strep so that's fun, but the show must go on. Also, I'm in love with this lipstick. I'll put it in the description box below because it's a great one. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, let's get on with the review of the products. I'm just going to go ahead and say the Kashi bars just did not work out for me. Um, also, I am okay. Obviously, it did contain coconut, but I was fine after I took some of my allergy medicine, so everything turned out okay. My throat did start to close up a little bit, but after I took my allergy medicine, everything cleared up. I was fine. There was no rash. There was nothing. Yeah, it wasn't for me. It wasn't the like most tasteful thing in the world, and it also just, I don't know, it wasn't for me, but it is gluten-free, so if you are gluten-free and looking for a little treat, uh, then this may be for you. It just was not for me at all <laughs> so the next no was this I actually will be honest and say I didn't even try it out for a full week no it wasn't the product that I was supposed to be trying out 
but I tried it out for you guys. Anyway, this turned me orange. And I don't know if it has something to do with just how white I am that tanning lotions turn me orange or what the deal is. But this turned me orange, not my jam. Tanning lotions have never really been the greatest thing for me though. And also, it claims on here that it stays for like at least a week. I had this on, I put it on the night before my husband's tennis tournament and I actually asked Josh how he thought it looked because to me it looked like it did do some color and he flat out told me it was a waste of money so <laughs> he didn't notice the difference. The difference is very very um, at first like non-noticeable at all but after time went on throughout the tennis tournament, it started to deepen and darken and it turned orange. My feet looked like little chimpanzee orange feet. It was, holy cow, it was a mess. And then anyway, after the tennis tournament, we came home and we took a shower and now I have a white towel that is orange because I dried my body and my legs and it came off. It didn't even last like a full 24 hours. I put this stuff on after filming the uh, intro to this video. I would put it on at like seven o'clock at night and I believe I came home and showered at like five. It didn't even last 24 hours. It just came right off my body. This is a big fat no, not into it. I wonder how the actual product that I was supposed to try out would be. Um, I'm just scared because where it says medium, I'm afraid that it's going to be way too dark for me. Uh, it's one thing to be tan, but it's another thing to just look a completely different color. I don't know. Plus, I like my white skin. I don't mind it. It's, it's whatever. It's who I am. I'm a whitey. <laughs> Alright, so on to the good notes of this. I want to start off with the Be Your Face Soap. This actually is a really good face soap. I do think that it did a deeper clean than my normal face soap, but I still like the face soap that I use as well because it removes my makeup very easily. I do feel it cleaning like as soon as it touches my face, which is amazing. And I actually honestly 100% think that my pores around my under eye area and my nose and my forehead have gotten a lot smaller after using this and obviously it's only been a week but I mean I feel like even my makeup looking in my monitor right now looks a lot better than what it did a week ago so I am most definitely a hundred percent going to be buying this again and uh, uh, putting it in my skincare routine and I also love that it's a pump and not like a squeezy tube I don't know I just feel like you're gonna get more product out of it because it has a pump maybe that's just me but I really like this like I don't have any bad or negative things to say about this go ahead and try this product out I'm pretty sure it was like super super cheap maybe like five or six dollars so I don't know I mean I feel like it's worth it I wanted to put this to the test to see if it could get off really hard makeup so I actually have done a look which I'm pretty sure this video will come out next week or the week after that but I did a look with the aftershock palette and that was a lot of makeup that I did with that look and so I went ahead and washed my face after with this stuff to see how it would work and it was night and day it looks amazing I'm going to go ahead and put some pictures in here um, of what the makeup look was so, so that you guys can see how much makeup I had on and then I'll put, go ahead and put another picture hopefully it doesn't scare you guys of what I looked like after washing my face Yes, I don't have eyebrows. It's <laughs> a redhead thing, I swear. Don't eyebrow judge me. I know that there isn't any there, but it's whatever. It got the makeup off. That's the gist of it. Um, let's go ahead now and talk about I want let's talk about the shampoo and conditioner because I have a lot to say about this. So I went ahead and I took a picture of my hair before I got in the shower. The only part that's really like dead or needs fixed on my hair is from about here down. Back in November I did a balayage on my hair and now it's kind of like faded out and you can't really tell. And my ends from the balayage have completely dried out and they feel like 
Doritos, but right now, honestly, they feel a lot better than they did from the beginning. So I definitely like it. Again, I love the squeezy tube. I feel like you get a lot more out of your product with the squeezy tubes. But my first impression when I hopped in the shower with this and I put it on my head, the shampoo felt a little chalky. And when I washed it out, it felt like it didn't really like give it a good deep clean. But it actually cleaned my hair very, very well. I feel like it has helped um, keep the ends healthy and kind of repair them a little bit. So if you're looking for a good shampoo and conditioner to kind of help keep your hair healthy because I know that everyone wants like long thick beautiful hair right now and I'm of course am one of them and I'm really over extensions so um yeah I mean I think this one did a really good job um I'm not gonna necessarily say that my hair has grown like a tremendous amount in a week obviously it looks longer right now because in the intro my hair was curly and now it's straight so yes it looks longer here and I also think I'm closer to the camera uh, but <laughs> I really wonder if this would kind of help keep your ends um, to stick together because I know also if you straighten your hair a lot uh, it fries your ends a lot so I wonder if maybe this can help grow hair or just at least keep it healthy so that it can grow this stuff though smells amazing it smells like no other shampoo that i've ever had before so the little bottles are six dollars a piece i believe and the big bottle is i think ten dollars i feel like my hair is a lot more manageable after using this than how it was with the shampoo and conditioner that i used before i bought this stuff it feels a lot less tangly it feels nice and smooth and just really strong and healthy and just I don't know. I don't, I don't really have anything bad to say about this product either other than the fact that it just kind of feels really chalky when you're putting it in your hair. But I mean, it doesn't feel chalky at all. It doesn't leave any kind of residue. I really like this. And the last thing that we are going to review is the body wash. So in the beginning of the video, I told you guys that I was really hoping that this would uh, do as it says and moisturize my body as it cleans it because I suck at remembering to put lotion on right after the shower and I'm going to end up with nasty wrinkles when I'm like 30 or 40 years old because I always forget to put lotion on. This stuff actually kind of works like that and I'm really impressed. It smells, first of all, can we just say, it smells amazing. Scentsy or any other candle people, Yankee candle, candle makers, um, candle warmer maker people get with method body and figure out how to make the scent because I want my house to smell like this it smells amazing I can't even quite describe to you what it smells like you definitely do smell a little bit of the rose water and the peony flowers in there but the salt added in it it doesn't smell tropical it doesn't smell like beachy I, like, I don't even know how to describe it. It just smells so good. I love it. I want a candle of it. I want bath bombs of it. I want bath salts of it. I, I just, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I want a perfume of this. Oh, it smells so good. It cleaned me. I mean, that's what a, a body wash is supposed to do. So check on that, I guess. So the first time that I used this body wash I did notice that it made my legs feel pretty soft without lotion which amazed me because I always forget to put lotion on after the shower and so I was sitting there thinking like holy crap this might actually be the body wash of my dreams the body wash that I have been looking for the one that can moisturize my skin and clean it at the same time um, my arms right now feel so soft like my legs right now feel so soft um, I will definitely say that after a while you'll still obviously have to put lotion on but for a body wash that has been pretty good my skin does feel really soft and I do feel like it has gotten better throughout the week softness wise I used to have a lot of little bumps on my arm right here and I feel like they've gone away quite a bit 
and I don't know if it has anything to do with this body wash or what, but my arms feel very soft. My legs feel very soft. I really do like this stuff. I would suggest it. It smells really nice. It's pretty inexpensive and it has quite a bit in there for how small it looks. I don't know. I really like this. I'm going to keep using it. I will most likely buy this again. One for the smell and two because I really do think that it is doing wonders for my skin. With that being said, that is me purchasing five items in a magazine and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Be sure to share it with everybody because I want to do a 150 subscriber giveaway, which is Leo Mazzotti, which is super exciting. If you want to know more information on that, go ahead and check out my uh, website link in the description box below. And also while you're there, I am doing a sewing challenge and I need you guys to pick the style that I am going to try and recreate. Um, so yeah make sure to go check that out. Also, if you would like to follow me on any of my social media handles, those will all be down in the description box below. And thanks for watching The Happy Wife, you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!